ahead of this weekend's British Soap Awards, we've invited each of the five soaps uh, up for a award to come in for a chat. Well, today, attention turns to London, and it's the turn of those EastEnders. <laughs> Please? You don't know what I'm gonna do to you! Get off! Whoa, whoa, enough! And you are... I'm his wife. Fire me, Zenith! Oh, it's all sunshine and roses, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got some of the cast here now. We've got Perry Fennick, who plays Billy, Daniel Harold, plays Lola, David Witts, who's Joey Branning, Jacqueline Josser, who plays Lauren Branning, and obviously Ricky Norwood, who's Fat Boy. Welcome to all of you. Congratulations, first of all, on your 17 nominations. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about the weekend? Because it's you're, you're kind of five years you've been at the top, five years you've won the best soap, yeah. So this could be your sixth year. Obviously, it's great that you've done that for the five years, but is it like Ant and Deck at the NTAs? You've got the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to keep hold of it. I don't think we win as much as they do. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's helpful competition, isn't it, really, with all of us? I mean, obviously, I didn't realise it was five years on the yeah. bounce. That's, yeah. that's pretty amazing. Well, and coming off the back of a BAFTA. Yeah, yeah, we're well pleased about that. Mm. Yeah, Feel good. Sure. That's great, yeah. yeah. Um, let's talk about you individually. Uh, Perry, first of all, uh, nominated for Spectacular Scene, mm. and that's the Olympic, tor Olympic Torch that comes to Walford. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And that was part of the live show. Yes, course. yeah, yeah. I mean, So what were the responsibilities there for you? No, no pressure, <laughs> no pressure at all. I mean, it was an amazing thing, because as a scene, it was actually ten minutes long, and it obviously was live. Um, but we had, I think it was 19 cameras on it, we had 500 supporting artists, we had uh, the entire cast, and plus the Olympic torch coming into the square yeah. and I had to carry it and she had to have a baby and it was <laughs> only 10 minutes so and it and I mean it went amazingly well but it was kind of like everybody everybody if one person would have been a second out with yeah. something yes. the whole thing would have come down totally like a house down. of cards so we were just glad Little to get through yeah. History, yeah it was a bit historic did you yeah. get to keep the torch yeah I got one have you got well, it? my mum's got it Has she, she, really? calls, she calls it her Olympic lamp <laughs> 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 you have to run so much that you're running like 12 miles a day. Yeah, yeah, because what well, you didn't see, because once it started, I actually, you know, I was running from one set to the other set, so it kind of was easier for me once it was going. But yeah. for poor old Dan, she had to well, have a baby. So, really Danielle, you uh, you are having the baby at the time, so uh, yeah. so all that running is going on, um, but you've got an entirely different dramatic affair <laughs> we did, happening. Yeah. Well, you was nervous. I was terrified. <laughs> I was really, really, I was. When I bad, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> that was really bad. But, but we looked after you over there, didn't we? We did. In my clunkies. And then, <laughs> in my clunkies, it comes to like a couple of seconds before, and I just kept laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. I thought, oh my God, just stop laughing. It That's was... like when you start laughing in church or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Really really Everyone's looking at you like, she's not going to stop that, right? She's going to stop that. Um, but last time we saw you, we were talking about the relationship that, you, that Joey and Lauren had mm. together, and you were saying, I would like this to continue. Mm. And that didn't happen. That didn't happen, <laughs> did it? No. <laughs> that didn't come true. <laughs> and at the time, you you didn't know what was going to happen, where the writing was going to take no, you, and, um, and it didn't. And you're a bit gutted about this. I think that was the kiss of death, wasn't it, coming on, <laughs> coming, coming on the show and saying that, um, yeah, I suppose all good things must come to an end. But the thing is, when they're together, she's not necessarily her best person. No. Would you say that that's fair? I think he, he does bring out a good side to her, mm. but it's still not enough. Yeah. She needs more help. She, she has to find herself before being with him. And are we going to see, well this was my next question, are we going to see her kind of hit rock bottom and then build herself back up and then love can blossom again? Are we? 
Oh. I don't. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know, rock, know, rock, rock boss. The rock, person rock, to ask is sitting here. Yeah. Well, you're definitely going to hit rock boss. Yeah, right? the lowest <laughs> of the lowest. Because you write for for the show. Well, no, I'm one of several. I'm I appreciate say that. Big, I don't. I'm not in charge of what happens. Which I'm must getting mean myself you are privy to fired. important information. Fired, but then we've got good looking. Chinese bird. Chinese bird. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you like to happen to your characters? Because we can have a word. We know someone. Sort it out. I just say, as you can see from the cast, we've got an awful lot of good looking people in. Welford, so you know, there's definitely people coming up for you. Well, you're up for sexist male, aren't you? Sex is newcomer. Sex is newcomer. <laughs> <laughs> and sex is female as well. Yeah. No, the back. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> how, do you, uh, how do you feel about those sexiest awards? How, how do you feel about those? Oh, Jacqueline loves those. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she gets all embarrassed for them. Do you? Well, because all I do is throw up <laughs> <laughs> and roll around on the floor That's drunk. Crazy so, how is that sexy? We are talking about the character, by the way. Yeah. And how about you? How do you feel about it? Oh, it is what it is, I suppose. He loves it. <laughs> are you, do I, are you do just I? acting <laughs> cool about this? You're really secretly really chuffed. No. But outwardly be very cool. No, I don't know. It's just it's just it's it's really weird. Like it's, it's, it's embarrassing. strange. It's embarrassing. I yeah. think it's embarrassing. It oh, when you get to our age, you'll be like that. This is the <laughs> yeah, I so appreciate it now, I really do. And so, um, Ricky, you, this is a lovely, positive relationship that, you, uh, relationship that you're in. With yeah, it's quite different for EastEnders to kind of to, to, to have a relationship in which, you know, a bit of happiness can blossom, and there ain't no affairs, and there ain't no it backstabbing right now. I know it is Easties. I mean, it's not going to last for long, but while it is lasting, it's quite nice. It's only a matter of time before one of you gets run over, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That or you know, Doc comes in and she kind of you know what I mean you know she she's the one in the middle and you and Doc that could, that could, no. be, that could be a great storyline. Shout out, book it out, mate. Book it out, sweetheart. You are up for um, best comedy performance, but actually, what's good about you is that you you do both sides. You've got that character that you can dip into whichever way it goes. I, I think that's the best thing to do. I mean, I, I, from the start, from when I got into EastEnders, I tried to give him as much variety as possible. You know what I mean? As much levels as possible. So yes, in fact, does have his comedic side to him, in which I've got to be thankful to the writers because they allow me to embed and stuff but yeah he also has his sensitive side and his sensible yes. side and and he's and, and this is great doing this was great I never knew this was ever gonna happen kissing Denise um, getting with Denise this was amazing <laughs> would you like us to just continue just to leave yeah, that clip? Leave just leave it there we can just, let's just watch that let's get in there son come on come on I'm not sure that was scripted they wouldn't say it wasn't that long yeah. no, no 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 we um we you know come on and that's showbiz, isn't it? <laughs> now, guys. So uh, what? Uh, what? What are the? What are the nominations? Well, the, one, the nominations we can vote for: the best actress are Jesse and Nina, the best actor Nitin and Shane, of course, the sexiest we've got Jacqueline and David here, Ooh. and of course, the uh, voting for best soap. Which I, I know, believe. which is what you've got to do now, because each cast has 20 seconds to ask for your vote. So if we can put our clock on screen, who's going to do this? I've, I've been right. nominated. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, one, one time starts now. So, guys, you've had a great year watching EastEnders, all right? We've had the the, the cat storyline, who's been going out with cat, you know, you've had the whole Joey and Lauren thing, you've had the beautiful uh, Perry Fenwick and Daniel <laughs> Harrod doing the whole Olympic thing, all right? You've had one of the greatest actors in Michael Moon doing his thing, all right? It's one of the greatest shows, and you love us and we love you, so vote for us. <laughs> You'd be a presenter. That was a hard link you just did there. Well done. Very good. And to the second as yeah. well. Uh, if you would like to vote for your favourite soap to win at this year's British Soap Awards, then here's how you do it. You can vote in the following six categories by visiting BritishSoapAwards.tv. Cast your votes now for Sexiest Male, Sexiest Female, Best Actress, Best Actor, Villain of the Year and Best British Soap. Voting closes at 3pm on Friday the 17th of May. Votes cast after the closing time won't be counted. Don't forget to tune in to the British Soap Awards at 8pm on ITV on Sunday the 19th of May to find out the results. Yeah, so you know where to go for your vote. Whether EastEnders win on the night is up to you. But one thing they can win today is our quiz. And for that, we are handing over to a familiar face. There's your change. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I hope you're enjoying South London for a change. Question one. Good luck. The average price of a pint of beer now is £3.10. But what would a pint set you back when I first started working here in 1985? Was it £1.40, £1.80 or £2.10? 
40. Right, so what do you reckon? I'm still I'm getting over the fact she's tall. <laughs> 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 what, how much are you going for? Oh, come for oh. One forty. One forty. Yeah, for one forty, yeah. I can tell you the answer is one pound forty. Yay! Yay! Not that I do it well And uh, here's your uh, next question, Tracy. Back to you. What do these objects have in common? A picture frame, a bust of Queen Victoria, a frying pan. Yes. Well done. Go on, go on, David. What do you reckon? Okay. Lethal weapons, all of them. Oh, I very believe. Good. It's very good. <laughs> so, uh, so let's see whether or not you're right. Come on. There you there go. You go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mitch Frame Come killed that. Heather Trot, the bust of Queen Victoria killed Archie Mitchell, and the frying pan led led to the death of Pauline Fowler. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, go back <laughs> over to uh, the Vic now. OK, Tracy, final question. Finally, Dot's having a bad day at the laundrette and managed to shrink the names of some Albert Square residents. Can you guess who? Jackson. So you reckon that's Bianca Jackson. That's maybe an easy one to start with. I think that is actually... Let's see. Yes. yes. Oh, well done, great. well done. OK. Let's do the next one. This one. <coughs> and who's that? Ian Bill. Ian Bill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well done. Well done. Oh, very, very good. Very Let's good. take a look. <laughs> right. Let's take a look. Ian Bill. Yep, that's right. And let's have a look at the final one. Who is this? Masood. That's Ahmed. absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. Masood Ahmed. Masood Ahmed. Oh, I was last. Oh yeah. And there you go. Now you were you were absolutely stunned that uh, that she could actually speak. So let's. <laughs> <cross> <laughs> out to the final words, final Tracy. Words. <laughs> well done, everyone. I'll see you here later for a pint. Cheers. Oh, 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 that's absolutely brilliant. When are you 